<laughs> Should we start? I think it's yeah. as... Shall we start? I th- I'm just... Welcome! Wait, 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 what? wait. What? I think this is good as it is. Welcome, Welcome to, to another, another episode, episode of Drive Into, into the, the Reds. Your favorite hosts, Larry and in Elia. <laughs> It sounds like an alien. <laughs> <laughs> Just getting the pronunciation correct, honey. Yeah, you didn't. <laughs> I did too. No. <laughs> That's exactly how you taught me to say it. Mm-mm. You said in a lia. In a lia. Well, that's not how you taught me to say it. <laughs> honey. All right. You're right, honey. <laughs> <laughs> bananas. <laughs> you got it, bananas. <laughs> that's uh, an inside joke. Inside joke. We'll talk about the inside joke in a minute, but first we're going to look at the newsletter. (sighs) The newsletter. Again, written in the first person. Okay, I'll read it then. And then you can answer the questions. Well, give me that. No. I can can (laughs) translate. Come on, come on, come on, come on. on. (laughs) It's it's better if I read it and then pause than ask my questions, because otherwise I'll have to interrupt you. That's so rude. (laughs) That's so rude. Oh my okay. goodness. Okay. You ready? Yes, I'm ready. No one does it. No one does it. What does that tell you? No one does it. What does that tell you? It sounds like one of those cones or something. No one does that. What does that tell you? It's like, am I supposed to know? Yes. Is it some, some something profoundly banana? It's profoundly banana. Purple. Banana. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, it's because you started painting again. Mm-hmm. Well, to be more accurate, you've started making power objects in mixed media. Yes, I did. Uh huh. It's awesomely fun. Yes, I like them too. Yes. Speaking of which, did you bring the one that you brought? I did bring one. Actually. It's not like Banana. put in a place that's not safe. Uh, it's over here. It's over here? Yeah. Okay. I just, just want to make sure that there's no chickens pecking on it or dogs eating it there's or cats drawing on it. The back? the back is okay. <laughs> so I'm showing it on the screen for those of you who are watching the video. Oh, it's so nice. Yeah. Wow, look how it has like things come into view and then go away. Yeah. That's not interesting. If you look at it from this perspective, you can see the crystal on it. Oh, yeah, right there. Let me point it out. Make it flat. Right there. Yes. All right. Very neat. Very neat. That's actually a multimedia, uh, a mixed media power object. Mixed media power object. Yes, yes. indeed. I bet it's the wealth, wealth money and sigil. abundance sigil. Yeah, wealth, abundance and money sigil. Yes. All right, darling. So she unpacked a very large and expensive museum-grade canvas that she said she's been carrying around with her for several years, but I, in fact, remember doing a lot of the carrying. Only for the half of the amount of the life that we've been together, that canvas and I. Yes, I remember this canvas. Arrived large with and me. bulky. Arrived with you. Yes. And it was uh, museum-grade and very yes. expensive. Don't mess yes. it up. Put it yes. in very carefully here and there and everywhere. yes. yes. And it wouldn't fit in our RV that we lived in at the res for zero minutes. Right. So it went into a U-Haul trailer. Yes. And then it went into our first house, which was a boat. Yes. Just a... I'll read some more. Okay. We lived We lived on a boat. We did. The Alaria. It was a 50-foot old wood... I guess it's not old. It's... 60s. A new wood. 60s, yeah. Because wood boats... Old wood boats would be 1800s. Right. This one's pretty new. Pretty new, not only the 1960s, I think. 1960s, yes. Yeah. But a 1960s wood boat is a damp environment because naturally it's in the water. And it had been neglected for a while. Yeah, well, like, yeah, neglected was a safe word. And that meant things had been growing. Yes. So it was a target-rich environment. Yes. So the back of the canvas got a bit moldy. It did. Or mildewy. Or something blotchy. Yeah, blotchy. We didn't take a s- sample of it. Go and grow it and see what's yeah. the species. Yeah. The species we're not sure about. We saw the mold at the time and treated it with mold 
thing. Stuff. It's yes. a kind of a bleach thing with a little bit of water in it. Or No, it's not bleach. It's actually a different thing. We've had this argument plenty of times. It's a different thing. It's not bleach. Yeah. And it wasn't vinegar. It was something else. It's something that actually um, kills the mold without destroying your stuff. And it's not toxic like bleach. Yes. Bleach isn't toxic, actually. Isn't it? No, you put it in the water all the time. That's why we don't drink that water. Because it's toxic. <laughs> <laughs> there is that part. Yes, there is that part. It's less toxic than some of the toxics. Uh, anyways. Anyways. The mold got killed and it never came back. Correct, we did. Yeah. But the back of the canvas continued to be stained. Yes. Which, if we had put a little bit more bleach on it, wouldn't have. But we didn't put bleach on it. That's why it That's why it didn't get rid of the stain. Right. But you, you don't want put to put more... bleach on canvas. Just saying. Well, how to get white in the first place? Let's just not go there. Okay. <laughs> now that I'm going to use it, and I will be letting you know in the future, not me, when it's available for purchase, I've decided I didn't like the mold marks on the back because it's kind of like gross. It is gross. So I covered it in gesso. Gesso. It says gesso. But it's pronounced gesso, honey. Well, maybe this is use a J. Gesso, I know. But they don't. So gesso is a primer for canvases. And if it was me describing it to you, I'd say it looks like a jug of paint. Yeah. So gesso is paint, apparently. A primer, yeah. Paint primer. You put it on your canvas before you paint over it with acrylics or oil. Yeah. You can also put it on rocks, on metal, on plastic, and all sorts of things before you paint. You can. So it's primer. Primer. I don't know about very, plastic, actually. Very expensive primer? Yeah. No. Hmm. No, it's not that expensive, actually. It all depends. Some of them are. Okay. So, primer the back of it, so now it looks white, which is the way it should look. It, it, it just comes in different colors, but the one I used is white. Okay. So, now you can't tell. Just, it just looks like it's supposed to. Yes. Got it. While covering it, I realized that this is a perfect opportunity to paint or write a beautiful message for the future owner of this painting. And then I wondered if anybody else had done this. Before. Why? Why did you wonder? I wonder things like that all the time. Well, we all know how to find out. Yeah, you go to Google. <laughs> Type it in the computer and say, hey, do you want to do this? Actually, we don't use Google anymore. We use Brave. <laughs> yeah, we don't know which we use anymore. Brave. Every time we, you pick one... It falls. They go, they go for Dark. it. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that? I don't know. It's so frustrating. If I make something, I'm not going to pretend it's one thing and then... Make it into, make it into something entirely different because some something... Open, that's called Open Doors, right? Yes. Yeah, so when you have open door open negativity. doors to negativity, these are the things that happen. Yes. Anyway, let's go back to the gesso. So you put some gesso on the back and you wonder if anybody else ever done that because has anyone in the history of painting ever had a moldy canvas? Of course. It wasn't about the mold, it was about painting the back of the canvas. Did anybody in the history of the world Yeah. According to Google or Brave or DuckDuck or whatever the heck we use, did anyone ever paint over it with a primer so that it doesn't look yucky? Right, that seems like that should be like a million people. people. Millions so, did you get ten people, million yeah. hits? Let's no. see. I searched the internet for applying gesso to the back of the canvas, and there was only one post that talked about it. Yeah. And like me, that person had seen some markings on the back of his canvas that he didn't like, so he covered it with gesso. Gesso. I'm going to just call it gesso. Okay, gesso. <laughs> and then wondered why no one else had. Okay. As you had. I know. It's almost like the you're same. saying maybe some experience. artistic type of mindset. There's only two of you. <laughs> yes. Well, people wondered this way and that about the reason why it's not normally seen. And then one person answered, no one does that. What does that tell you? It tells you, you're an idiot. That's the <laughs> thing that... Yes, that's what they were saying. You're an idiot for doing that. Yes. No one does it for a reason. Right. Well, what's the reason? Exactly. The response to this answer was... Oh, it must mean it is bad, very bad. I better take it off. Yeah. Because they must know better because they told me. Right. Well, they actually, all they said was what is an insinuation. Yes, an insinuation. Yeah. No one does that. What does it tell you? 
Well, you know what it tells me. Maybe they weren't smart enough to figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> what does it tell you? Oh, well, let's experiment with it and see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. Others chimed in and said, oh, yeah, no one does it because canvas needs to breathe. Who knew? Who knew? Like, what's it going to happen if it doesn't breathe? I don't know. I don't know. And does it need daily breaths, weekly breaths, air flow? Yeah, air flow, I think. I was like, what, really? If that was the case, if stuff no one does is not done because it's bad, very bad. We would not have any single innovation on Earth. We would not have any type of original thought or art or anything. We would just do what, what everybody's have. doing. Mm-hmm. Yes. I think I'm sensing a program here. Yes. Hmm. I tapped into my canvas. She did. Yes, I did. Like this. Da, 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 da. Art. No, I didn't tap in like that. I didn't tap my canvas. Exactly, more like tapping in, tapping in. And you asked it. I know canvases don't speak English, so how did you ask it? I asked it with pictures. Pictures. I asked the canvas. It's a her canvas? It is, actually, yes. It's a her. Yes. I was really shocked and surprised when I tapped into my canvas. It was a girl. A female canvas. Okay. Yeah, I didn't know canvases had gender. I would I no never idea. have expected. I had no idea. I but imagine. I, I imagine, it may have something to do with the creator of the canvas. Maybe that was a woman. Or maybe it was the tree that the wood is taken out of, and maybe it was the sheep that the cotton was made out of. Or not sheep. Uh, the plants. The plants. Made have been the female plants or whatever. Yeah. It could be. Okay. There's reasons. Yeah, yeah. There's. I mean, if we follow the. Tr- Trail. We could find out. We could find out. But yes. let's just say it's a female canvas. And yes. Call it good. Yes. What's this about you needing to breathe? And does Gesso stop you from breathing? I did ask that, yes. Did you say Gesso or Gesso? I said Gesso in a way that she could understand. Okay. <laughs> I showed her the picture. Okay. So she duly filled me with love and affection. We have been traveling Earth together for over a decade. And then said, yeah, I do need to breathe. But imagine the primer, Gesso. Gesso, it's not going to stop me. Varnish can stop it. Yes, varnish. Sand the Gesso in the back a little and don't varnish it. Just varnish the front. Mm-hmm. Okay. Did you truth it? I did. Good girl. Yeah, I did truth it. It was correct. Nice. Yeah. So the data that you received was correct. The yeah. communications were correct. Everything's correct. So you have created a uh, no one does it. What does that tell you? New thing. You can yes. j- just so on the back of your mold stains on the uh-huh. back of your canvas. Sand it down a little bit. Just don't varnish it. It'll be right. fine. It'll be just fine. She also told me that she was very excited that she would become a power object. And she told me which one. But I didn't put that in the, in the article. I forgot. <laughs> do you uh, remember? I don't remember. That's why we have this this part, right? We to talk about it because yeah. we, we can talk about more. So things. tell me about it. Which power object is this giant canvas that I've been packing around the planet for almost half of my life? <laughs> Which power object is it going to become? The there's a word for it. Uh, it says the. I guess we could call it matrix of reality. A reality matrix? The power matrix. object of reality matrix. matrix? Yes. A power object that I haven't quite, you know, pinpointed it yet. But it's but going to be I related can, to I can matrix. feel it and see it in paint in canvas language. I haven't translated it to human yet. Matrix awareness. Maybe? Yeah. Yeah, that's a good one. That's good. Yeah, I'll have to check with the canvas and see if that's accurate. Okay. I like that idea. That sounds like a good idea. I'd love to have that. I'm going to have that power idea. <laughs> Can you think that one too? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Maybe that I share some of these someday, but it's going to be in a forum that, uh, you know, isn't it. Yes. Okay. That way they will keep coming. Yeah. Because you exactly. love them too. Yes, I do. I do. 
This canvas told you that she was very excited that she would become a power object and that she loved the idea of all of her surfaces being used toward it, like a fully dressed lady. Yes. Which may mean something to the rest of you, but I do not. Okay. I mean, my mind goes lots of ways with this. <laughs> really? <laughs> fully not dressed lady is more interesting <laughs> than fully, but the canvas wants oh all of her clothes. Oh my God, really? <laughs> I'm sorry, honey. It's bananas. What can I say? Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> yes, don't stop yourself from innovating. Just... Now all the way, ladies are listening to this are going to feel targeted because they have all their clothes on. That because you prefer ladies without clothes on. Not all ladies. What ladies? You. <laughs> <laughs> so you were thinking of one lady, <laughs> not fully dressed. Yes. <laughs> Well, that one desecrated very quickly, didn't that it? That went sideways fast. <laughs> We're talking about a power object, honey. Yes. Speaking of power object. Yes, darling. I do have one. You do? Yes. <laughs> Where? <laughs> Fully <laughs> dressed. <laughs> I have to cover my face on that one. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. All right. Don't stop yourself from innovating just because no one else has done something you thought of. Right. Try new things. Create stuff. You're here to push the envelope beyond anything we have done so far on Earth. All the way to the light paradigm. Yes. All the way to the light paradigm. Uh-huh. There's yes. one thing not there at the light paradigm for sure. Bananas. There's plenty of bananas. <laughs> okay, what is it then? <laughs> Fear, honey. And oh, power yes, over definitely. Others. That's two things. That's one thing. <laughs> That's two things. <laughs> Bananas. There's no numbers. Honey. There's no numbers. Yes. It's one thing. That's two. Okay. It's... One thing that's two things. Yes. One thing that's two. Okay. No fear and power of others either. Yes. Because you need fear in order to have power over others in the first place. Because you can't work without it. Right. Okay. So creating the new paradigm needs to push the envelope. The reason it isn't done isn't because. It can't be done, or it shouldn't be done, or it won't be done. It's because nobody's done it. Mm-hmm. What does that tell you? Do it. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, I think we're good. Yeah, we're good. Now, would you like to talk about bananas, honey? Because we played with it so many times now. And we have to give an explanation about it. So yes, let's have let's a bananas go for the conversation. Bananas. First of all, okay. let's talk about bananas. Yes. Okay. Tell me more about bananas. What would you like to know more about the aspects of bananas? What do they grow on? They grow on banana trees. Yes, but are those trees aware? Aware of what? They're aware. Are they banana trees aware that they're banana trees? They are aware of bananas. <laughs> so... They're banana They are banana in their awareness. Are the bananas yellow? Not all bananas are yellow. But are some bananas yellow? Some bananas yes. oh. are partly yellow. Some bananas are partly, so I'm close. Are bananas yellow and the tree, is the tree yellow? Mm, the bananas are not all the way yellow, they're partly yellow. What, what is the meaning of yellow? <laughs> bananas. So these bananas are yellow? Yeah, not all the way. <laughs> Tony. Only partly yellow. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand. Okay, let's move on. Okay. Okay, let's have... Let's talk one. about something entirely different. Completely different. Yes. Yes. Are there bananas on other planets? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> are they... Are there bananas on other planets? What planet? Are there planets? Are there planets? Yes. We should start with planets. Are there planets? Are they bananas? Are no. they made of bananas? First, first I want to know if there's planets. There's planets, yes. Is there bananas on those planets? In some of them, yes. <laughs> How many planets have bananas? <laughs> A lot. Okay. Are they yellow? Bananas are not yellow. <laughs> They're partly yellow. Okay. So, are there partly yellow bananas on many planets? Yes. Got it. So, are they alien bananas? 
If they're from another planet. They're not from another planet, particularly, but they are on other planets. So if a banana from another planet came to Earth, would it be an alien? Would it be an alien banana? Yes. <laughs> I guess you could call it that, and if would you it, want to. <laughs> would it taste like a banana? Well... Here is a clincher here. All of the bananas you've been eating your entire life came from another planet. So are they alien? Yes, no. Yes, no. They were, but now they're not. Why are they not? After a while, then they become... Earth bananas. Earth bananas. Because they're made out of Earth. Animals. Oh, that's why. Yeah. So they're not alien bananas anymore. No. Okay. Let's talk about something completely different. Okay. Completely different. So my banana has a cut on it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> is it still okay to eat it? It depends where the cut is. <laughs> and how deep into the flesh of the banana the cut is. And is it gone rotten yet? Okay. That's a lot of things. Yes, it's a lot of things. Can you heal your banana? <laughs> <laughs> we should take that out of context and see what people say. <laughs> Are we talking about bananas? Yes, we're talking about bananas. Okay. <laughs> Can you heal your banana? <laughs> I'm not going to go too far down that path. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, the banana that grew on the tree that you yes, bought the banana is from now the yours. Tree. Yes. Can I heal that banana? No. How about if the banana is still on the tree? No. If I do something with a crystal... Can it fix my banana? No. If I put some chemicals on it, can it fix my banana? No, you cannot. If I ask somebody who's trained to fix bananas to fix my banana, can they fix my banana? I don't know. I've never met one of those persons, so I couldn't really say. Okay. We're not getting anywhere with this. How about... A completely different subject? Yes. Okay. Is there a God and did he make bananas? Is there a god of bananas? There, or... Is there a god who created bananas? No. And then how did bananas come if God didn't? Create them? Yes. They were developed by a species to have an experience of eating bananas. So they eat? What? The species. Eat? Yeah. They do now. Bananas? <laughs> yes. <laughs> so they're cool then. Yeah. So I was wondering about something. Okay. Completely different? Yes. It's about music. Okay. Can bananas hear music? <laughs> Can bananas hear music? <laughs> yes. Can they hear music? Because it, I haven't seen hearing. their ears. Yeah, exactly. So, so hearing means they're... They, the vibrations of sound uh -huh. touches the banana. Uh -huh. The banana vibrates and uh -huh. has a sensation of... What is a sensation? Uh, wiggles. Wheels? has wiggles. Wiggles, okay. Has wiggles. Does your banana wiggle in music? <laughs> Does your banana wiggle in music? <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, it may wiggle, but it might not feel or hear in your conceptualization of what hearing and feeling is. Okay. So it can hear? Bananas can hear? Is that what you said? No, I didn't say that. Bananas like music. Is that what you said? No, I didn't say that either. If you play music, your bananas will grow bigger. The bananas, once you pick them, they don't grow. I think we're off track again. Maybe you're talking about the banana tree. If you look at the banana tree, then you can heal the banana tree. You can... Um, you can play music to it and it grows happier and bigger and healthier. So what I really want to know then is where do bananas come from? Trees. So can bananas hear music? No. Hmm. Can they grow bigger? No. <laughs> How about if they're hurt? No. Can you fix them if they get cut? No. Can bananas get fixed if you get a cut on it? No. But what about my banana? If I cut my banana, can I get it fixed? No. Hmm. That's a 
That's a lot of things. Yes, it is. So bananas are pretty cool. Would you like banana for dessert? No, I've had too many bananas. Yeah. yeah. What about in an ice cream float? No, not ice cream float. Banana split. I'm tired of bananas, honestly. I think I want to move to... Not with honey. I, I think I want to talk about something besides bananas. Okay, let's talk about something else. Do you think you can make a banana out of an orange? No, I don't think we can make a banana out of an orange. That would make a banana taste better. Then it wouldn't be a banana. It would be, it an, would orange. be an orange tasting banana. Yeah. See? You could actually cut an orange and make it look like the shape of a banana. <laughs> That's like... <laughs> No one does it. Exactly. What does it tell you? Do it. <laughs> Let's do it. Okay, we're going to make bananas shaped like No, it's oranges. an orange. It was an orange shaped like a banana. Oh, I got it wrong again. Mm-hmm. But it will still taste like an orange. But will look like a banana. Not exactly, it's just the shape of a banana. So it'll be a banana. Just the shape of a banana. It'll be the same as a banana, except it won't taste like one and it won't look like one. Correct. But it'll always be banana. Apart from not looking like one, tasting like one. Yes, all those. All of those things. Or behaving like a banana. Will it be yellow? Only if you paint it. You could paint it. Banana pudding? You could paint it, yeah. But you could have to get other colors too, because bananas are not just yellow. So bananas are yellow? No. All right, this darling. code name we. Code name we. Code yes. name we. Code yes. name we. Code name we. Okay, here's a question for everybody here that managed to listen through to all the bananas. the bananas. Yes. And is still here. <laughs> and hasn't unsubscribed. <laughs> <laughs> here's a question for you. Yes, it's about bananas. If a multi and ultra dimensional being spent yeah. thousands of our years developing a way to become a conduit or maybe even a communication creating a communication form with you in other humans, words yes humans what but, would you ask that awareness field what would you ask them would you ask them about bananas yes apparently yes yeah you lots and bananas. lots and lots about bananas yeah but everything else but bananas about bananas yes. Yes. all about bananas have you ever tasted a banana well yes plenty of bananas yeah. Why? Yes. Let's talk about bananas. Why? Why? <laughs> well, bananas are yummy. Why are they yummy? Well, because they're yummy. Why are they yummy? What's because yummy about them? They taste delicious. That makes them yummy. What's delicious about them? They're yummy. What's delicious and yummy about them? They're smooth and creamy and delicious. <laughs> what is delicious about them? <laughs> <laughs> Why did you find them delicious? I'm not the wee. <laughs> Don't be asking me questions like this. They're too hard. <laughs> Code name we. Code name we. So here's the, here's the challenge. Here's the challenge. Try to ask a question. Yes. Not about bananas. Yes. And bananas are a euphemism. Right. Is that the good word to use? Yes, yes. A euphemism. Yeah. And please don't have in your question something that says, Tell me more about XYZ. Right. We don't want to know more about XYZ. I mean, we do want we to know more be, about XYZ. But like, make sure, make that sure the you, question is specific and narrow specific. enough that it's actually answerable yes. in an interesting kind of way that other people even also find somewhat interesting yeah. to know about. Bananas. Bananas is where we ended up. Yes. yes. Tell me more about bananas. What I really want to know is... Bananas. Can bananas hear... Yeah. Do they have an afterlife? Can bananas die and come back? Because mm-hmm. we really don't know about bananas. <laughs> so those are the more specific questions that are actually interesting. Yes, that is an tell interesting me more, question. Tell me more about bananas is not. Tell me more about bananas is not so interesting, you, apparently. Figure out, you have the opportunity. Figure out questions. If you had the opportunity. To ask a to ask. universal intelligence with so many Multi- eyes. Virtual. In so many dimensions at the same time that you almost can't eat, you well, you can't really conceive of it too well. But that something has an, has a, an ability to communicate yes. with you. And so you can ask it a question. Yes. And I say it, but I don't mean it as in a non-sex, thing. non-gendered thing. I'm just saying it. Because, because it's hard to talk about them, it, whatever. 
Yes. But you have a question. You have a question. So it's like you can ask that question. So where are they going to write it? Subscribe star, walk with me now, the Telegram, public Telegram group. Those are good places, right? I would say any of those places, yeah. all of the above, and just put code name we. Yes. Here's my question. Yes. Slash, like, it's the hashtag code name we. You can do that and too. And then type your question. So well, then we'll we do a have search. Talk on with me now, which is on Telegram. Right? Yes, we do. We no, no, the, that's uh, for Walk With Me Now. So we have a public channel Oh, and Ellie Ben's Telegram. public chat. We have the... Comments subscribe on Subscribe Star. Star. We have... Substack even Substack, for this newsletter. Yes. has a Substack you could go to. Yes. And Ellie Ben's at Substack. And Ellie yeah. Ben's at Subscribe Star. Yeah. And Ellie Ben's public chat at Telegram. Yes. I won't say use the Facebook page because we don't go there the comments very often. don't show up all the no, comments so don't. that was kind of a waste I can't of time. see all the comments that people post there at all they kind of like get filtered filtered yeah, yeah it's a little hard to find them yeah. you can um however you got this if you have a newsletter you could send it by email yeah I you could get an envelope with a stamp on it yes. and write and at the bottom of the newsletter, there's in a physical address. You could actually write it out in a physical envelope. You could write a note. It. You could send it in Here's a note. Here's my question. Here's my question. Here's a stamp. Here's an envelope. Send It'll come it. in the mail. Yeah. You have the rare opportunity to ask. Yes. That yes. could be interesting. Let's see if we can find questions that are interesting. Because I'll be clear. Every attempt so far has ended in bananas. It has ended in bananas. Ended yes. in bananas. Yes. They seem very interesting until you start really talking about them and listening about them. And then you're like, bananas. it's still about bananas, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's still about bananas. Yes. Okay. Yes. Good challenge. Right. Good times. Cool. Love you, honey. <laughs> Love you.